So today I'm bringing you a rogue leveling guide for Barrage in Diablo 4. The dev stream was uh, just the other day and a lot of players still haven't made it to 50 or made it into World Tier 3. So I figured I'd bring you guys a bunch of different leveling builds to not only help you get into World Tier 3, but then show you some M game builds as well to help you get over the top. So today I'm bringing you a Barrage leveling build and we're going to have a lot more builds on the channel, guys. So be on the lookout for those. So without further ado, let's just get into everything. So Barrage is our skill of choice for rogue uh in this particular case for leveling we are level 50 so i'm not doing anything in inside of uh anything higher than world tier 2 and just to show you everything that we have so we're choosing barrage as our skill of choice for you ranged rogues out there and the build is really going to be designed at kind of being very fast moving in and out of combat we're going to be medium to close range in the build and we're all about applying um vulnerability damage and making things absolutely explode so let's get into the abilities just so you guys can see what we're talking about so inside of the abilities here we're going uh puncture into fundamental puncture to help uh, not only hit things vulnerable but make uh, three enemies vulnerable then we're coming into barrage five ranks into barrage up until improved barrage so on the third cast we get enemies vulnerable as well then we're taking a point into sturdy for damage reduction and as well as three points into siphoning strikes to heal as we crit because we're going to be a very high crit uh, build. Now, here's the one mobility thing that I want to change because this build works not only for softcore, but hardcore as well. So in hardcore, you want to have unstoppable on your action bar no matter what, which is why we have shadow step. Now, you could take concealment. This is the only other form of unstoppable that the rogue has. However, that 20 second cooldown is a little bit too high. So we're doing shadow step here into methodical shadow step to stun enemies but if you're playing softcore then i recommend swapping out shadow step for dash for just because the mobility on dash is just even better so we got shadow step then we're doing three points into weapon mastery for more crit damage uh, we come down to dark shroud all the way up to subverting dark shroud for more movement speed then we're taking poison trap all the way down into countering poison trap because we have a 30 percent chance to reset our imbuement skill which is going to be shadow imbuement which is great we're taking three points into exploit for more damage as well as uh three points into malice for even more damage against vulnerable enemies also up here we're taking concussive after knocking back or knocking down an enemy you gain 12 percent increased critical hit chance which uh on poison trap guys the enhanced poison trap always knocks down enemies which is huge then we're taking shadow imbuement into blended shadow imbuement which is not only going to make enemies vulnerable when they explode but it's going to deal a lot more damage and with consuming shadows with shadow crash we not only can get stunned but we're getting 30 energy back every single time we make an enemy explode uh, affected by shadow imbuement which is huge then we're going to come down and take one point into deadly venom for even more damage against poison enemies and then poison enemies take five percent less damage uh, and then we're doing three in uh the advantage here because i want the increased critical attack speed now you would do the reverse if you're in hardcore guys you would take one point here and do three points here for um, debilitating toxins or poison enemies take 15 percent less damage then down here we have no alts guys but we are going to take three points into intervention on a lucky hit we gain uh energy back uh three points into trap mastery for even more critical strike chance against vulnerable enemies and then one point into adrenaline rush while we move get energy back and then three points into haste so that way we can move even faster now our key passive of choice is going to be precision as we continue to crit with marksman skills we gain precision we gain critical strike damage per stack and then when we, we reach our maximum stack our next marksman skill is a guaranteed critical hit however if you don't want to do this one you could definitely do um victimize on a lucky hit dealing damage to vulnerable enemies has a chance to cause an explosion and deal more damage around them however even though we're in a building that's entirely about vulnerability this one is good however we want the high crit now i will mention because of our key passive here that puncture is a marksman skill so as we are ranking up our key passive stacks if you happen to cast puncture and it consumes it and you get the crit strike from that then it uses it so if you don't want to use puncture even though i prefer because i hit more targets and then i hit them twice and then multiple enemies are vulnerable you can always go invigorating strike or you can do blade shift i like invigorating strike because if you go up into fundamental invigorating strike you have a 50 percent chance to make enemies vulnerable for three seconds however this is just one target because it's a cutthroat skill i like puncture so i take my chances 
Okay, so now let's get into the gear, guys. I'll just show you the gear that you're going to need for the build, which is pretty easy. Now, again, because this is a leveling build, you may get you know, go, whoa, or you have a lot of legendaries here. That's okay. You can still use whatever legendaries that you need, but I'm going to show you all of the codexes that I use because we're using nothing but codexes for the build. So this one we found, don't worry about this one. Becoming injured control gives you unstoppable, not a big deal. But this is one that you want, Bone Weaver of uh, the Armor of Might. So basic skills give you damage reduction. Then the next one you're going to want is Rapid Ruin. So you basic skills deal 15% more uh, attack speed. Next, you want Disobedience. This is really good to give you armor stacks because rogues are very squishy. Then we're going to come down. And even though this is on the weapon for leveling, guys, you want to put it on the amulet. I do have two here. I just happen to find the uh, Barrage skill um, on a weapon instead of using the um, imprint from the Codex. But it's the same. So we just have it on the weapon for more chance to split into two different arrows when we ricochet. Uh, which is fantastic but you definitely want this on the amulet and then the last two are going to be dealing direct damage with trap skills for blast trapper has a chance to make them vulnerable which is huge and um and then we want um vengeful which making an enemy vulnerable has a chance to grant to us three percent increased critical uh, strike chance up to nine percent for three seconds huge okay then our last two down here the dark shroud one doesn't count guys that's just something i found so not a big deal we just have the weapon for the um, stat priorities. And then this is the last imprinted codex that you want is Edge Masters. Skills that deal 10%, um, deal up to 10% increased damage based on available primary resource, receiving the maximum benefit while we're at primary. So as our energy is at full with that, we're able to spam Barrage and they're gonna get the maximum damage increase, which would be 10%. Now for our specialization, at first, you definitely want to take uh, combo uh, points because you get this at right at level 15. But as soon as you get to 25, you want to take inner sight. The reason for this is, is because we're going to be so up close and personal and we're going to be pretty mobile in this build, we want to get our inner sight max so that way when this fills up, we can spam barrage for four seconds flat, nonstop, which is huge, okay? So now let's get, let's show some gameplay, guys. Just show you how the build works. This the reason barrage is so fun is because it's great against multiple targets for AOE damage, but it's also a very good build against single target, which you're going to see in this showcase. Now, how this build works is pretty easy. Okay, you have Shadow Step as your get out of jail free card, especially when you get crowd controlled in any way. You always have Dark Shroud up because you get the movement speed increase. So always pop this on cooldown. When we're in and out of combat, you want to pop Poison Trap because it's going to give us a chance to re-trigger this. So we're going to go into combat. We're going to pop. Um, we're going to do Puncture to get some enemies vulnerable. Pop Shadow Imbuement, Spam Barrage, and then drop Poison Traps to reset this. Rinse and repeat. So let's just kind of showcase the build just a little bit, and you guys can see how it plays out. It's a really, really fun build. If you guys want a very good dungeon to level, we are in Sirocco Caverns. It's a really good build or a really good dungeon. For solo play or duo play so let's go ahead and check this out we got some really good increased move speed here that is uh not where i can go at all the build is very fun to play so with inner sight you want to hit hit your hit your main target that's inner sight so you can get that back explode everything you hope that your poison trap is going to reset drop another poison trap the real cool thing about Barrage is that you're going to be able to shoot and move, which is great. You can drop Barrage, drop it, and then move, which is fantastic. So the build is really, really fun, right? Like, really fun. Blow some stuff up. We got Inner Sight. We can spam, spam. Get it back. We explode stuff, drop. We get our, yep, we get, we get our, um, shadow imbuement back, which is fantastic. Because we're going to be so mobile, we're just going to, like, bring stuff in. We're just moving here. You see it explodes multiple enemies. It's so good. Drop. Yep, they're affected. Reset. Shadow imbuement. The build is very, very fun. You can even shadow step over. And once we get that full, we just spam. Very, very good. The build is very, very fun to play. Okay, now 
You you may not want to be like super super close like I am, but even still, like even if you keep a, a pretty decent medium range like this, right, and keep stuff back, it's really good. Now, if you do feel like you are getting hit way too much, what you could do is you could go into your skills here. And if you really, really wanted to and you didn't feel comfortable with puncture, you could always swap to Forceful Arrow, which will give a knockback, especially inside of um, Hardcore. So it'll look like this, just so you guys can see it. However, you do attack a little bit slower. Okay, you're going to take Forceful Arrow into Fundamental Forceful Arrow. And I'll showcase this for you guys just so you can kind of see how this works. It knocks them back. Which is really good. And then boom. So you could use Forceful Arrow if you really wanted to. If you really felt like you wanted some a little bit more distance. However, you do attack, attack a little bit slower. But that's okay, right? Because we're just exploding things. We're going to get our, our sacks up. Kind of keep stuff back. Right? Pop that. Pop our trap. And you see it can be great for single target. This will be a really good example here against this, like, elite. You guys will see we'll get our, our sacks up here. We'll get our inner sight, maybe. Inner sight, spam, 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 dead. So the build is very, very fun to play. It's a really, really cool build. It's very easy to play, not hard at all. And once you increase your, your movement speed and kind of can get in and out of combat, you can definitely do that. Drop your trap. Boom, explode stuff. Look at that, our Shadow and Beam is already reset. All right, guys, but that is my Barrage leveling build for Diablo 4. Get out there, use the build. Let me know what you guys think about the build down in the comments below. Make sure to like the video. And good luck to you guys. Get to 50, get into World Tier 3. This build is absolutely fantastic, guys. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.